Hello everybody, this is the Structures Guy, and today we're talking about the Charles Cronin Suspension Bridge in Switzerland. The bridge is the longest pedestrian suspension bridge in the world, with a span of 1,621 feet or 494 meters, and rises 279 feet or 85 meters above the valley at its lowest point. The bridge, which is steel construction, runs between 600 meters and 2100 meters above sea level. The bridge is located near the Swiss town of Zermatt, about few miles from the Italian border. The suspension bridge, which opened in July 2017, was built to replace an older bridge that was damaged by falling rocks in 2010. And thus, the new bridge had to be built 650 feet below the old one to avoid falling rocks to damage the new bridge. Building the bridge took only 10 weeks or about 2 months and a half, while the total cost exceeded 775,000 US dollars. The local tourist office, Zermatt Tourism, guarantees the bridge is safe, however, only recommended it to hikers with no fear of heights and warn visitors not to attempt crossing in an event of a storm due to a lightning risk. The deck of the bridge is see-through, allowing the visitors the opportunity to see straight down into the valley below. If the level of depth is too unsettling or scary for some people, the world-famous Matterhorn Mountain is perfectly placed in a distance of viewing. The bridge is just over two feet wide, which means visitors can only walk in a single line. It is estimated that the trip from one side to the other takes about 10 minutes in total. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the Charles Conan Suspension Bridge beat out the Kokono Hume Bridge to take the claim as the world's longest pedestrian bridge. Completed in 2006, the Kokono Yum Bridge was built in Japan and spans 1,279 feet or about 352 feet shorter than the, than the Switzerland new structure. The transparent construction of steel cables and wire mesh in the Charles Cronin suspension bridge was designed to integrate perfectly into the environment. Constructed by Swiss rope, the walkway is carried by two ropes that are 53 mm in diameter and are firmly anchored at either end. Mesh covers the tall angled sides as not to obstruct the striking views of the alpine scenery. Suspension bridges can usually span further than any other type of bridges. Suspension bridges use tensile cables to support walkways or roadways and take many forms and sizes. We will discuss how suspension bridges work in a future video. This bridge uses hydraulic cylinders which regulate tension and prevents the bridge from swaying. To be specific, a special vibration damping system dampens any lateral movement for this bridge, meaning it hardly vibrates. The bridge weighs about 8 US tons of rope or about 16,000 pounds. The weight of the bridge also helps prevent the bridge from swaying. Unfortunately, I could not find too much information on the design or the specific engineering of this bridge besides the information we already talked about. But we can all agree that it is a very beautiful structure and located in a very beautiful place. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned more, more about the bridge. See you next time.